So in this lecture, we'll talk about social networking. A social network is a website where users can create a profile, they become a member, and they, then they can interact with other users, post information, engage in other forms of web-based communication. These social networks are a valued part of marketing because they are changing the way consumers communicate with each other and then with the firms and other organizations with which they interact. As the number of social network users increases, interactive marketers are finding opportunities to reach out to consumers in new target markets. An important question relates to how social media sites are adding value to the economy. While billions of dollars in investments are being funneled into social media, it may be too early really to assess the exact economic contribution or impact of social media to the entire economy. Another way of saying that is we're not exactly sure where this is going and how it's going to have a total effect. But we do know that it's big and it's happening fast, as I think everyone listening realizes or agrees or would agree. Internet users are creating and reading consumer generated content, that is content among other people about product and services, as they never have before. And this has a profound effect on the marketing and the marketing process in general. Two factors have sparked the rise in consumer generated information. One is the increased tendency of consumers to publish their own thoughts, opinions, reviews, uh, share their ideas on products, on broad blogs, digital media, etc. And also consumers tendency to trust other consumers over the corporations that are pushing the product at them. Consumers often rely on the recommendations of friends, family, and fellow consumers when making purchase decisions. Marketers who know where online users are likely to express their thoughts and opinions can use these forums to interact with them, address the problems, and promote their companies. So you're out there not only pushing uh, your own ideas, but also trying to understand how the, you, the consumers are gathering the information from others to make their purchase decisions and then attempting to influence that process as well. The increase in social networking has been exponential. It's estimated that today's, in today's world, adults spend approximately 37 minutes a day on social networking sites. As social networks evolve, both marketers and owners of social networking sites are realizing the opportunities that this presents. Uh, these these, off, these um, networks offer an influx or a potential for an influx of advertising dollars for site owners and a large reach for the advertisers. As a result, marketers have begun investigating and experimenting with different types of promotions on these various social networks. We'll touch a couple of them. We all know Facebook, or many know Facebook. It's the most popular social networking site in the world. Facebook users create profiles. They can make the, either public or private. They then search the network for people with whom to connect. Many believe Facebook appeals to a broader, Facebook appeals to a broader demographic in fact, the fastest growing group on Facebook is consumers who are 55 and over. For this reason, many marketers are turning to Facebook to market their products, to interact with consumers, to gain free publicity. It is possible for the consumers to become a fan of a major company like Starbucks by clicking the like icon on the coffee retailer's Facebook page. Facebook is also partnering with business to offer unique incentives to those businesses. Additionally, social networking sites are useful for relationship marketing, building a longer term relationship with customers or the creation of relationships that mutually benefit a marketing business and the, and the customers. Co companies are utilizing relationship marketing through Facebook and other network sites to help consumers feel more connected with their products, more a part of their social identity. Another popular one we hear about, particularly a lot on the news, is Twitter. It's a hybrid social networking site. It's also like a micro blogging site, you might call it. Uh, it asks users one simple question, what's happening? Members can post answers to up to 100, in up to 140 characters, which are then available for their registered followers to read. Nearly half of all these users visit the site on a daily basis, while approximately 30% visit the site multiple times in a day. 
More than half of Twitter's active monthly users follow companies or brands like social networking tools. Twitter is also being used to build or in some cases re rebuild customer relationships after some kind of an issue might have developed. Other companies are using Twitter in conjunction with other social media sites to create unique viral marketing campaigns. Finally, companies are using Twitter to gain a competitive advantage. Google Plus uh, is a service that's also out there competing with Facebook and others. 2011, it was launched by Google to compete with Facebook and others. And it, it basically identifies users across Google's various services and platforms. Um, Google CEO Larry Page initiated the move to get more people to use Google Plus by requiring those that use Google services, such as Gmail or YouTube, to have a Google Plus account. Integration between the social network and its other services means that users who post reviews on different Google platforms can no, can no longer do so anonymously. They are now tied to a person's Google Plus account. Google Plus gives digital marketers marketers an opportunity to capitalize on its growing on Google's growing user base. Because Google Base is linked with search results on Google, sharing a firm's information on Google Plus could push the firm up through the ranks of Google's search results. Although Google Plus does not yet have the same influence as Facebook, marketers are discovering a number of possibilities to engage their users using this uh, more integrated type of platform that Google has offered, this Google Plus. Um, next lecture, we'll talk about streaming media and social media.